The execution of Yevgeny Nuzhin is, I think, deliberately being confused. And Putin's chef, uh, Prigozhin, started off by uh, applauding the execution of Nuzhin, uh, going so far as to say that the filmed execution was excellent directorial work. And then today he has said that actually the murder must have been, uh, the execution must have been committed by American undercover forces. Why? Well, uh, Yevgeny Nuzhin, unfortunately for uh, Putin's chef, had given an interview. And in that interview, he explained that he had been sentenced for a murder and that all the time during the war, he wanted to fight for Ukraine. And so when Prigozhin came to his prison colony and recruited potential members of the Wagner Brigade, he volunteered, knowing full well that should he surrender or enlist with the enemy, with Ukraine, then he would be facing a, an execution by his own. So it makes very little sense for, for Prigozhin to claim today that in fact uh, he thinks the execution was staged by other people pretending to be the Wagner Brigade and the Wagner Brigade uh, are honourable. Well, no, they're not honourable because <laughs> Prigozhin has already set up the idea that anybody who is caught surrendering will be executed. So this is a sort of smoke and mirrors story and, as I say, deliberately confusing. Uh, Nuzhin's interview was with a person called Yuri Butosov and published on September the 4th. So it's as clear as day uh, what uh, Nuzhin planned to do and why he had joined the Wagner Brigade in the first place. It was a ruse on his part to get out of prison and to support the people in Ukraine. And I'm sure he's not alone. And so, <laughs> um, for a mercenary group, a private army, to claim that they act in accordance with all conventions is absurd. And, of course, Ukraine has also made it very clear that they will accept the surrender of any Russians and uh, should those Russians not wish to be returned to Russia, then they can stay in Ukraine. So again, I find it slightly strange that uh, Nuzhin was returned in a prisoner's swap. Uh, but I think it's highly unlikely, highly unlikely that he was assassinated by a US brigade or indeed by Ukrainians, given what he has said. I think this is a demonstration of Prigozhin carrying out his threats, sending a message to other prisoners who have been recruited into his private army, and then perhaps running scared. In the end, it comes across as a defeated army squabbling among themselves.